What is up you guys? This is Colton here, leader of Apex. I am so happy, I am so proud of myself uh, for doing something I didn't think I'd be able to do in this global tourney. And as you can see, I've reached 20 wins. And not only have I reached 20 wins, I have reached 20 wins with Sparky and no big spell. Uh, albeit I do have a lot of practice with this deck. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hop into every replay that I do still have because some of them have expired and I'll explain my thought process. If you're looking for a Sparky deck and, and you're trying to learn something new, um, I'm not going to lie, it's probably not the best Sparky deck there is. Um, it's very unique, it has a very fast cycle. Um, in the global tournament on this account, I've now gotten, I got 13, I got 13, and now I've gotten 20 and 3 losses. So what I'm going to do uh, is I'm going to go through all the replays, and then I'm going to play live until I lose. I'll probably lose the first one, but I'm already happy. I got the last reward, uh, and there's no way I'm getting like 45 to actually be in the top, um, top leaderboards. Um, but I did want to show you this deck and at the end I will unlock all 20 rewards and you can watch that live. Uh, but I'm going to hop into the oldest replays that uh, are still available. Uh, and let's go one at a time. And I'll explain my thought process because if you're wanting to use this deck, um, I'll try to explain why I do things the way I do. I do make mistakes still, but to get to 20 wins... I mean, I'm pretty proud of that. I didn't think I'd actually be able to do that with Sparky. Um, so I hope you like the content, I hope you like the video, and I hope someone tries out my deck. Usually when I see um, a bowler, uh, it's pretty safe for me to play um, my Sparky at the back. Although, um, as I explained that, um, if I wait too long, a lot, of, a lot of decks have a graveyard, and if they have a graveyard and freeze, um, the freeze is going to screw up my bats and my sparky is going to get distracted by the graveyard. So, uh, you do have to be a little bit careful, um, when you see the bowler, because you don't really know what you're going to see. Um, when I see this, I don't have arrows, um, but I have tornado and zap and that is a very powerful combo. I can very quickly get rid of horde just like that. Um, and he has more to deal with. So just because I face an Ewiz doesn't, you know, Ewiz is kind of a hard counter, but at the same time, I don't, that's not an auto loss. Um, the main matchups that are actually hard with this deck, um, 3M is tricky, but beatable. Lava Hound is beatable, also kind of tricky. Um, Mortar can be frustrating. Um... Log bait's the toughest matchup out of all of them. I do believe I beat a log bait, um, which I'm pretty pretty happy about because I lose that matchup a lot of the time because they have the uh, do tornado and zap again. I couldn't quite afford the zap right away, but um, yeah, I'll just let this go. Sometimes I place um, just an ice spirit in front uh, to tank. But I think I was at a point where I knew he had e -Wiz and I wasn't going to be able to take it out. Um, so just distracting all the units here. The deck's definitely a lot more powerful and better in Double Elixir. I didn't want to leak too much Elixir. Um... When you play Sparky at the back like that, he could go Giant and other troops right down the other lane, which can be tricky to deal with. Um, but with Tornado, you can usually save half your tower and still maybe get a push. Um, that was a bad Tornado. If I would have gotten all three, theoretically I could have actually hit everything there. So I'm at a point there where my Tornado didn't work the way I wanted it to, so I got to reset and get a new plan. Um... It's a little bit chaos right here, uh, but I use my giant to take those shots. Uh, so my Ewiz, so the Ewiz can get taken out by the archers, and I can do a nice tornado there and finish that up and kind of reset. Um, 
I don't really have a whole lot here, so I'm probably just thinking about resetting with another Sparky at the back. Um, luckily, I was able, in time, to place that Ice Spirit to tank the shots from the E-Wiz. Um, so it's definitely a deck where you like to do defense and then counter push. Um, Tornado Zap, I, I do use that a lot, especially if there's Horde. Then um, it takes it out just like that, um, and you still have your your tornado and your and your zap. So the ice spirit still lands on the e wiz, and then the supporting troops, whether or not it's um, bats or whether or not it's archers, will take out the e wiz. So that's why I like ice spirit paired with um, sorry paired with stupid notifications. I, I do like Ice Spirit paired with, sorry my brain's not working, paired with Sparky because you can kind of drop it. You can also tornado uh, the E-Wiz forward, um, you know, freeze it with the Ice Spirit. I don't know if anyone's actually going to watch this whole thing or people are just going to fast forward right to the end. Uh, but for those who do want to try to make the deck work and try to learn it a little bit, um, I'm going to do an explanation on all these videos. Um... So that was my last win, that was against Gambit's Castle. Um, so here I played Jack. Don't believe it was the good Jack who plays uh, Hog. <laughs> definitely, definitely not. Um, and if I remember correctly, this guy actually gets pretty angry here. Um, don't know what kind of deck he has, but with his placement, I cannot place Giant on the other side. Because um, it will go towards that. So I decide to take a few Spear Goblin shots um, and build up a decent push because Sparky's going to slow down, take shots, and it, it lets me build up a decent push and then I can use Tornado to, um, if he plays a whole bunch of troops, I can Tornado everything together and usually get some pretty positive trades. Uh, I like to use Bats or um, Minions to kind of help take all those things. So as you can see, a lot of my matchups do have uh, Ewes. And um, my archers are able to clean up those um, those skeletons as well, so Sparky's able to get a shot. And for troops like this, it's really nice. You can just play your bats, take them out, um, and just let the, the push kind of die, because bats don't do anything by themselves. So far, so good. Um, he does the same thing, um, which honestly, if you ask me, um, you know, it didn't work out for you the first time, so why are you doing it again? Ah, you place a barb hot. Sparky in the same line as barb hot is great. It'll take out at least three cycles of barbs if you time it right, um, so he doesn't really get any value with that. I do my archers on the inside just so Sparky doesn't waste a shot on a goblin, and then again, as you can see, I got the Ice Spirit, I got the Bats, I got the Archers to clean up all that. I decided to use my Zap there because it'll, then I don't have to deal with those barbs and that's just kind of done at this point. So I don't want to overcommit at all. I did the split Archers as he put that down, so it kind of screwed me up. Uh, I got my Bats. I decide to tornado and use my uh, my minions there, and I have to drop my archers. A little bit of an overcommitment on defense, but I'm at a point where that's okay. Um, because I don't mind being a couple elixir behind, because then they usually have to place a tank, or they place something, and you can react to it with the, with the sparky, or you can push the other lane with like a giant bats or something, if they have something like a golem. Um, you know... It has a really fast cycle. It's a really cheap Sparky deck. I like to call it um, a Sparky cycle, even though it might not really be. Um, it kind of is. Like, there isn't many cheaper giant Sparky decks that you can play. So, he's not very happy. I say, I say good game. <laughs> uh, it was a good game. It was a good game for me. Uh, so, good game, Jack. Um, here. I play, uh, I guess it's not true log bait, um, 
But, um, well, lucky for me, he doesn't have a rocket. <clears throat> but when you are facing log bait, you do have to be very cognizant of what they're playing. Um, I have to do Ice Spirit and um, Bats and just take that out as quick as possible so it only gets one swing. Didn't want to overcommit with the Tornado as well because um, it was kind of out of cycle. Um, I haven't really figured out what his deck is yet. I didn't think it was, you know, a log bait based on hog because hog isn't really in log bait um and he would have rocketed me so if it is lo uh, log bait you do have to be very careful of your placements uh when it comes to rocket because rocket is a hard counter if you're if you are playing against rocket you want to make sure you place your sparky high and only when it's actually going to do damage against a troop uh it was a little late here otherwise it would have been a sweet little um, sweet little trick there. So I know this is going to be a tough matchup for me because it is kind of a log bait variant. I think I do some high archers here just to clean all that up. And I don't know if he's going to go hog or he's going to go goblin barrel. I think he goes both to be honest. So I do ice spirit archers and bats to try to clean that up. But as you can see, 1600. Um, he does almost 600 damage there with that, and my bats and uh, minions are kind of just going to die. So it was almost like a waste. I spent quite a bit to defend that, and I don't really get that much damage. So it was probably a good play by him. I don't have the exact best counters for log bait. Um, you know, he fireballs there. I think I decided to push the other lane. I might not. Yeah, but I kind of do it in the cycle, or uh, I do it in the center in case he does a hog at the bridge i could tornado the hog into the sparky um and still have enough elixir to do a giant in front here that was a bad placement i don't think my giant actually gets in front um so i wouldn't do that but it kind of works out a little bit so he has to keep defending that and i think i do tornado and archers and I commit to uh, Ice Spirit too. A little bit of an overcommitment there for me. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I spent six elixir to shut down four. So two elixir deficit there. But I'm just at a point where I, I really just want to stop him. I know he doesn't have rocket to finish off because I saw the fireball earlier. Um, so he's just trying to cycle spells at this point. I do a giant right in front. Um, my archers to take out that. My bats to distract the inferno. I was getting ready for the goblin barrel there, which never came. Um, I really thought he was going to throw the goblin barrel down, but he never did. Um, so good good game against Seekel, if that is your real name. Um, so next one here, I'm playing Ewiz yet again. There's a lot of Ewiz, uh, but like I said earlier, you face Ewiz, you just have to deal with it. Um, you have to have supporting troops to take out the Ewiz, and that doesn't necessarily mean a big spell. Um, I like decks without big spells, personally. Uh, big spells definitely have their place, but I've always been more of a cheap deck user. I like to be able to react uh, to things that I see. Um, oh, I actually meant to do that in the left lane. That was a misplay. Um, and I also try to pull here. No, I don't. I decide... I'm just going to take that damage. Even though it's a lot of damage, um, i got to commit to my push. But he actually, if I remember correctly, he does a really good job shutting me out here. Um, and I don't think I get very much damage. Not very much damage at all. Sorry, my nose is itchy, guys. I don't mean to be gross. I might get a shot here. Yeah, I do. Um, so I committed to my push, but I was able to get a decent amount of damage there by ignoring his troops. I was kind of committed to a point where I could defend, but then I wasn't going to get any damage. So I was like, okay, if he's going to pretty much take my tower, I'm going to pretty much take his. And he almost shut me down properly. I do a bad giant here. I thought, uh, I thought I was going to pull the, um... What's it called? Um, 
the bandit. But he never did. Um, because I placed it one tile too low. Um, but he has to deal with this. So we pretty much traded towers here. I don't see too many people doing videos like this. I don't know if anyone's going to like like this. It might be a little bit dry when it comes to content. Um, but I feel like people that actually want an explanation on how to use the deck, I feel like it's useful. Um, this is my own deck that I made. Um, I've been using it for a while. Um, I think the highest I ever actually got with Sparky was 56.64, and that's all maxed out too. Um, so nothing too impressive. Um, had to use other decks to get almost to 6,100. Got really close. Um, but not quite. And, and that was a dumb play there. Um, I thought, I thought my bats were still alive for some reason. So that ice spirit there, um, was completely pointless. So now I gotta somehow defend this. Somehow gotta, uh, defend this and somehow get a win here. I actually don't remember how I get this win. Um, so let's watch. We'll figure it out together. Uh, I somehow managed. Um, that's just going to die if he doesn't place any more troops. So I just do bats at the back. Uh, yeah, I think I commit offensively here with archers. Um, man, my nose is itchy. So I do a little bit of chip damage there. I do archers as well uh, to take that out, but I don't get as much damage as I had hoped. So I'm getting a little aggressive here. I'm really, um, I saved my, I figured, he, sorry, I figured he was gonna drop skeleton army. So that's kind of what I, what I did here. Uh, I do a Sparky at the back, which actually kind of surprises me, but I guess I decide I need to reset until I can get to another giant. Um, so he does a pretty good job here. If I remember correctly, though, my archers way over here do some chip damage. Enough to get it within zap range. Yeah. So now all I have to do really is cycle to a zap. And that's exactly what I do. Zap, get the win. Good dub. I like it. I like it a lot. So there we go. That was against Challenger. And then... I wasn't too proud of that. Um, it, I don't really want to go through my losses, but basically my main mistake is I, I haven't gotten used to... I haven't played much ladder uh, since reset. And I haven't really gotten used to the new freeze, and I kept using my bats for some reason um, for the graveyards, and that's essentially why I lost. Um, I didn't... Hmm, it was winnable, but I didn't play good. I, I definitely played bad that matchup and deserved to lose. Uh, and essentially, one set of bats where he put the graveyard, and then he froze it, got rid of the bats... Um, that was it. That was all she wrote. So here we go. Uh, against three musketeers. And three musketeers is super tough to play, especially without a big spell. Um, I mute a lot of my players, so I would have said good luck if I was unmuted. Because uh, I try to be a good sport if I can. Sorry, my nose is so itchy. <laughs> So I decide he's committed enough troops that I doubt he's going to go for the other lane. Well, like with a golem or something. I didn't know what he had. Um, so I kind of just let this die. Oh, well, sorry, not let it die. Uh, I put my giant down. Uh, it was kind of a waste of an ice spirit a little bit. Um, and this is, this is tricky too. He has a lot of cheap troops. Uh, and he is able to completely shut me down. So this is 
I forget if this is my really good win. I have one win against three musketeers, which is just unbelievable. Uh, once his bandit dash is there, I decide to activate my king tower. I mean, it'll help me. Especially against Night Witch, if Night Witch gets close, uh, the extra King Tower damage does help quite a bit. <sighs> so, I mean, try to get positive trades. Uh, if I play my Sparky, he's going to have to play some. I figure he's going to use Zap, so I have my Ice Spirit actually ready. That's exactly what happens. And I'm able to um, put my Giant down to block it and take out... Uh, Take that out. Use my archers to help with all the, all that stuff. Use my bats to clean that up. So he has a lot to, a lot to deal with here, and he's kind of in panic mood mode, uh, playing troops. This isn't the really really good one, but I think I'm gonna speed things up. This video is taking a lot longer than I really want it to. I'll just try to keep explaining kind of what my thought process is. That was kind of an oops on my part. It was a good tornado by me. Um, took a lot of stuff out, but I'm able to get the dub, basically. Um, I did my giant in the center there just to distract, and I had enough other troops just to distract 3M, so they... My goodness, my nose has never been this itchy in my life. Only when I'm super happy for a 20 win, uh, 20 win <laughs> challenge. I guess. Um, I'm going to just speed things up. This is taking way too long. Um, splitting archers at the beginning. He hasn't spent any elixir, so I decided to do a giant, which, I don't know, kind of bites me in the ass, but I don't mind playing stuff in the same lane as Pekka. And I know that kind of goes against you know, everything, really, because you think, oh, why would you play Giant in the same lane as Pekka? You're going to lose that battle 10 times out of 10. Um, but this is a cheap enough cycle. You can usually get it eventually in double elixir. You can get another Giant down, and they can't cycle to another Pekka. So it's almost like defense. You're just countering each other's troops in regulation. Um, you know, you're trying to make stuff happen, but a lot of the time you're not going to get that much damage with the Giant. You know, I was able to get a, you know, a couple swings there, which is great. But I don't mind facing Pekka. Um, I had my, my minions ready at the bridge. I do think Ram definitely needs a nerf. It seems really overpowered right now. Um, ooh, I probably should have done something there. Oh well. I'm able to get, like I said, I get another giant down, I have my archers down, and it's he can't deal with it. It's such a fast cycle deck that it actually works really well. And that's pretty much all she wrote there. Sorry I'm speeding things up, guys. This video is just taking too long, and I got a lot of stuff to do today. Um, but really like that battle. Um, da 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 da. Let's get into the another one. Is basically the same matchup, although with this deck, um, Baby Dragon. <clears throat> I know it doesn't seem like that crazy of a card, but Baby Dragon is really tough to deal with. Um, so even there, I spent. I probably played my troops a little too close, and he's able to get a little bit of damage. Uh, I decided to do Giant again. Kind of screws me over Giant at the bridge. It's probably too early for me to be doing that. Um, but like I can, I can recover a lot of the time. Um, you do have ice spirit to take shots from baby dragon, but overall that's pretty much all you can do. Um, so I'm not very happy as you can see, uh, it's not really going the way I want it to. So I kind of smarten up a little bit here, I think. Again, it's able to get damage, which really pisses me off. Um, I decided to reset with the Sparky at the back. Surround the baby dragon with bats. Um, do a giant. I know. Play a giant right in front of um, right in front of everything there. It's okay. I don't mind. 
a little bit of chaos here. Um, so I'm behind. Not really going the way I want it to go. Tornado or the baby dragon behind. He goes for the other lane. He thinks he's going to take out that, but I'm able to defend well enough and take out the baby dragon. <laughs> I get another shot with only 77, uh, 77 health on my tower, which is unbelievable. That is one of the wins I definitely did not deserve. I didn't play that very well until the end, and he decided to push the other lane. Um, I mean, I don't feel like that's anything special. Um, maybe I'll show this one. Um, it's taking a lot longer than I thought it would. Sorry, guys. There's a lot more videos. I'll, I'll just try to show you matchups that are a little bit different. Uh, this time was against uh, Lava Hound. Samiria. <laughs> the itchiest nose in the world goes to me. But I'm still gonna I'm still gonna fast forward. Um, I do a giant at the bridge. I do bats. I do uh, minions. So he can't really commit to his push. So I get a, a decent amount of damage there and spread out my troops. Um, and I got bats. I got ice spirit. Like I do more damage than him there, just by pushing the other lane when he plays the lava hound. He pushes the other lane, so I go this lane. There's the giant. Uh, I switch it up. I notice he uses his Inferno Dragon. I have my Ice Spirit. Um, and then I'm able to just use my bats to take out the uh, Inferno Dragon. And I tornado all that together. Pull it all away from my tower. And now that tower's down. What are you going to do now, buddy? I just split archers, I think. Because I want him to commit to something. Uh, I do a giant at the back. Um, and I hope my bats can take out the um, skeleton thingamajiggy. I mean, I got ice spirit, I got minions, and he does the same thing again. I tornado it all together for my other troops to take it out again. And I commit giant at the bridge because he played his lava hound, so he's not going to be able to stop that before my giant gets a little bit of damage. And there you go. That's a win against lava hound right there. Pretty happy with that. Another P.E.K.K.A. deck. Um, you know, I seem to beat P.E.K.K.A. a lot here. Um, now this one, this was a balloon cycle, which was very interesting to face. Don't really like this starting hand, to be honest. Um, so as you can see, kind of what I do there. I let it die because I spent a lot of elixir defending there. When you know you're spending way too much elixir to defend, just let them do the next push. You don't need to think, oh, they did the last push, now it's my turn. Um, no, that Ice Spirit probably seems stupid. Um, but in reality, the way it works right now, a lot of the time when you pull something, the Inferno Dragon's still going to go back to where it came from for some reason. So the Ice Spirit was just to distract and make sure that didn't happen. Because I knew without that Inferno Dragon, he was going to have a really hard time stopping my Giant. Oh, he starts with um, that at the back. This is a different Balloon Cycle uh, deck than I thought. There's another one that's actually a little, uh, little bit trickier. Waiting for time to go by, getting rid of his troops, just trying to stay alive. Try to also, you know, spend a lot so he has to put down troops so he can't switch lanes because if all his troops are in the one lane, he's not going to want to switch it up. I got tornado, ice spirit, I got bats, I got, I got all sorts of stuff to deal with all that. Um, so there you go. Against Macon, not too bad. Um. This was it. I played, this was very cycly and it was very frustrating to deal with. Um, I decided to do a Sparky at the back because usually when they play Mega Minion they want to do a push on that side. So he did surprise me there, switching the other lane. Uh, I do a nice tornado here. I take the one shot. Um, 
And then we end up being basically even. And my king tower is activated, which is going to help me against Balloon. I don't always recommend doing that. Um, but I saw an opportunity that he was only going to get one shot off. So I have to play an Ice Spirit here. Otherwise, the death damage would have hit my tower. So now I decide I'm just going to play in the defensive lane. I can't go for that tower anymore because he's going to keep pushing the opposite lane. Um, I don't really mind skeleton building, whatever the heck it's called. Um, I got a lot of troops to distract here. Luckily, he doesn't have any splash units, which makes me defending a little easier. If he had a baby dragon in there, it definitely would have been a lot harder for me to defend with my cards because... All my troops are quite squishy. Um, that was a that was a dumb push by me. I was trying to get something down. I, I felt like I was kind of at a point where I wasn't getting anywhere. Um, so just trying to distract all the units. And I'm waiting probably for double elixir because that's when I'm going to have enough elixir to get a giant in front of that sparky. My sparky pushes are all just dying because it's not double elixir. Uh, so it's hard to do much with this kind of matchup um, when I'm not in double elixir you know tornado everything back I'm able to get a giant now I got my minions to take out those I got my ice spirit I got my bats it's a lot for him to deal with and honestly with my zap there I'm able to take that out and there's not much he can do uh, I just had to wait for double elixir I just had to defend properly um, and then once I get into double elixir I can take him out um, another P.E.K.K.A. deck. I don't need to show you that. Um, uh, that was, that was a tough matchup. Um, mostly because Drajak is actually almost, he's a, over a 6,400 player. He's, he's a really good player. Um, so I'm not too upset I lost that. I don't have a big spell, so something like Flying Machine is definitely a lot tougher to deal with. And especially when you're going against a pro. Um, I'm pretty much a mediocre player uh, that just knows a deck decently well. Um, now this battle. This was the most insane finish ever. I cannot believe this finish. Okay. I'll fast forward, but I gotta do it uh, one times later on. Again... I got a little aggressive there. Uh, I've spent way too much elixir already. Um, so I don't play this battle very well, but you got to see the end. This is just the most insane thing ever. Um, you can just watch me... You know, my, my minions, luckily, I'm able to get uh, get a kill there. But I'm not able to stop this. The baby dragon. The baby dragon is what killed me. Eventually, I just let the push die. Probably a little too late. And I decide, how the heck am I going to take out that tower? Um, at least I hope this is the battle I'm thinking about. Yeah. Might be. So it's just trying to get chip damage... And defend properly so he doesn't get any major damage. Um, it's kind of a dumb play, actually, now that I look at it. Uh, my giant did get one hit, though. Um, and we're even on elixir, so was it really that bad? I did get a little bit of damage there. Um, able to distract. Like, it's such a cheap deck. And you have a lot of cards that do target air. Able to get a little bit of damage here. I don't think this is the battle I'm thinking about. I could be wrong. We'll see. There's another one that's just insane. Insane in the membrane. No, this one... I, I do play this one decent, but this is not the one I'm thinking about. But you can see kind of what I'm doing... Um, trying to get damage. I knew I know where he's gonna play that little skeleton. I don't know why I always forget what it's called. He is a misplay there, and I'm able to get uh, a shot. This is not the crazy finish, not the battle I'm thinking about.
We are getting close, though. Um, I haven't played against... You know what? I'm... I have two vid two I'm gonna show you. Um, no, I gotta I gotta show you the rest of these. I do. I gotta show you these three. Um, this I believe was the one I'm thinking about. This is actually a, a really good 3M player, but I'm able to. I believe this is the the finish. That's just unbelievable. I didn't think uh, I didn't think I was gonna be able to. Pull this one out. I don't like facing three musketeers. Uh, it's definitely a challenge. But you can kind of see, you know, what I do. Um, but if I remember correctly, I'm getting my ass kicked at the, in this matchup until the very end. And it's just like, oh, oh, just so beautiful. I was on point there. Um, I knew he was going to split. It, it doesn't really help me. But uh, I knew he was going to probably drop three musketeers at the back and split them. Um, so I had my tornado. I was hovering it with my thumb uh, at the top waiting for it to drop. Because I knew that's what he was going to do. Um, it really doesn't help me out here. Everything's in the same lane. Uh, and I don't have my tornado in cycle because I used it. So he's able to shut me down anyway. So my nice play ends up basically not doing anything. And he takes out that tower. Like, I can't win. And even when I do, uh, like, when I play right at the bridge, he defends that perfectly. And I figured I lost there. I said good game. I don't really give up. I'm going to play Sparky there. Um, I'm going to at least slow it down to one here. I do a... Giant in the middle there. Um, there's a lot going on. I think I do a tornado and an ice spirit to take out the horde, and then maybe um, archers and then bats. So this push is going decent. Um, I'm going to go half times here. I, I, I knew Goblin Gang was coming, but I still had that. So I tornado everything back, paired with Zap, finish off that horde, and I have one minion that takes that shot so I can finish just in time. Let's go. There was a little BM there. I don't normally BM. Um, but that was absolutely insane insane loved it loved it that was my favorite match um i also do some pretty good moves if i do say so myself here against this guy uh i don't play it perfectly but i'll show you what i'm doing this is also a really good player uh if i remember correctly i do a sparky at the back i do bats blah 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 blah, blah. um i needed to place my giant there to take the shot from the mortar. And I also noticed because the um, prince was on the inside of the lane that I was really hoping um, the giant would pull the prince. And it did happen. And I have my minions to, their plan was to take out a lot of other things, but I don't really get much out of this push he does a good uh, surrounding goblin gang. Um, so I don't really get anything. Even though I played that pretty well. Um, I think I do a sparky. The... No, I don't. I thought I did a sparky the back there. Uh, I tornado to activate. And I use my bats to finish off the dark goblin. That's great. Um, now I do a sparky the back left, I believe, to deal with that. Um, I do a nice spirit a second too late to take the shot from that. Um, mortar. Um, so it was a little late there, but I decided to commit to this push. And there you go. I'm able to take that tower. So now it's just a matter of defending. I do a Sparky again to take out that Prince. In case he zaps, I do my archers in the center. 
And then I got my bats. I do my giant. Yeah. So it's done basically. Um, my zap there. My Sparky's charging. Able to finish it off. Just like that. And that was for 19. Um, so now I will show you my match that got me 20 wins with this deck. Um, was so happy. Um, <sighs> I'm going to do it one time. I was very uh scared to make a mistake because i wanted 20 wins so bad because i didn't think i'd be able to get it with this deck um but i was able to um so after i show you this replay i'm going to go lose live for you guys which is fine i don't care uh, i don't think i'll get any more wins um but i got my 20 i'm happy of course i face 3m again you've seen my reaction to me uh facing 3m and the fact everything's gold lets me know it's probably a pretty good player. Um, here, I decide I don't want to play anything to take out um, the ice column. I want my bats and my minions spread out to help take out um, take out the musketeers here. Fortunately for me, my push pays off, and I am able to to take that tower I don't really have any real good defense here so I place my archers close to my tower to take that shot and just take a couple weak swings from the bandit or one one weak swing so sacrifice my archers um, I'll take that trade any day to be honest place 3M again Get my sparky in the middle do I do my giant in the middle? I do. I use my zap there. And then I still have my ice spirit to take the shots from the musketeer. And then I decide at this point I gotta go for three. I gotta finish this now because I'm not that great versus 3M. Um, so there's not a whole lot he can do here. And that's game. That was 20 wins right there. So you know what I'm going to do now? I'm going to stress myself out and play live. I'm at 20 wins. <sighs> let's go for more. And when I lose, I'll unlock it here. So let's just get my last loss. Oh, I don't know why my nose is so itchy. It's driving me crazy. So I'm at 20 wins here, which I'm pretty happy about. Let's do this. Don't mind this starting hand. Um... um a little bit of an overcommitment there. I don't mind knowing what side they're going to go for, though. Um, I'm just going to do my archers there on the same side, because he kind of already showed me where he wanted to go. I'm going to let that push basically die there. I shouldn't do too much damage. You might do a couple hundred. Um, we'll see. My nose is killing me. Probably, um, there. Oh, this is going to be hard for me to defend. Hopefully those bats can do damage. Yes. Okay. That worked out okay. He does have a miner coming in pretty quick here. So I'm going to... Let him do a little bit of damage here. We should come out pretty even. I'm a little bit ahead. Um, and like you saw in previous ones, my main thing here is highly doubt he would play 
peck at the bridge on the other side. And if he did, I could pull with my giant. So now I got got to get used to my tornado because if he places Pekka again like that, um, he's probably ready to zap that. So I just got to make sure I basically surprise him. Oh, I didn't have enough. Uh, if I had enough for a good tornado there, I'm going to let that die. I'm doing okay damage-wise. <sighs> Let's keep it going here. You can get a little bit of damage there. I can take that. Sorry, I'm not as good at talking as I go. There we go. Whew, 21! 21! Whew! There we go, let's go. Doesn't get me anything though at this point. Um, so I'm just playing to lose. Let's keep it going. Because I just want to lose so I can actually you know, share my, or open my chest, which I'm really excited about. Archers, what's he going to do? What has he got? Probably three musketeers, actually. Uh, unfortunately, my giant is too low placed, so I have to, oh no. Yeah, he's going to do a little bit of damage there. So, you know, as you probably saw earlier, Three Musketeers is my tough matchup. Um, only good thing is I know what he has. But it's going to be tough for me to win this matchup. And, you know, 21, I'm pretty, da pretty darn happy with that, to be honest. And, again, he's going to play... Nope. He's going to play, yeah, not able to get enough damage, even though I have that lead. He has the elixir lead, so he is probably going to win this matchup. Um, you can't win them all. I could tornado it all to one side if I'm... If I'm fast enough, but to be honest, he has enough. That. <laughs> yeah, he wins. There's, there's no coming back from this. I tried. All right. That was a good game. But at least I'm going to get to open my chest here. Um, my only chance... Um, is that maybe... No, no, I lose. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play till the bitter end, though. I mean, I tried. Uh, I got 21 wins. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, all right. I'm going to open my 20 win chest now. And we will see how it goes. See what I get. Um, bonus rewards. It's only 250 gems? I thought it was 500. They must have changed that. 5,000 gold. I'll take it. 
Um, let's see what I get. Um, do not want rage. Um, mm, mm, yeah, I'll take that. And I just want star points now. Okay, 200 star points. Skip strikes. 2,500 gold, I got an epic token, I'll take it. 2,500 gold, I get a Night Witch, which is good for trading. A lot of people like Night, Night Witch. 2,500 gold, a legendary token. 2,500 gold, star points. Star points, perfect. So now it's just Pekka. I probably should keep that, but I'm kind of hoping for Balloon, to be honest. Uh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. i got one more try here. Oh, well. I'll take the star points, I guess. 2,500 gold again. Get a rare token. And you get gold. I get... Two Dark Points, three Witch, seven Balloons, I'll take those, getting close to max, and then I could try out Lava Loon, which I've never played before, so I'll probably be really bad when I do try it. Uh, 2,500 gold, Epic Token, 2,500 gold, another Legendary Chest, Inferno Dragon, which is actually what I'm requesting, so I'm up to 17 out of 20, heck yeah, 5,000 gold, and Three legendary tokens. Uh, let's go. All right. 21 wins. Say hi to YouTube. All right. That is pretty much all she wrote. Um, I hope you guys like my video. Um, Viva La Sparky. Uh, this again is the deck um, that got me this far. I hope someone likes this video and, and, you know, enjoys the video, enjoys Sparky content. And I hope I made someone's day because I'm really happy I was able to get 20 wins, uh, with Sparky. So, uh, take care guys. And I really hope you like this video. All right. Take care. Bye.